Alright, so before I go on to uh, using a active piezo pickup, I'm actually going to use, I actually have this uh, Fishman uh, sound hole pickup that's a, also a humbucker um, that I got from, by the way, uh, the awesome guys at Grayson's Toontown. Check them out, Grayson's Toontown. Um, but I had to adjust the knobs, obviously, because this pickup is pretty quiet compared to the piezo. So what I did was actually, because it's magnetic pickup, I turned off the uh, pickup compensation because that's really more for like the piezo pickup, I tend to notice. And since the frequency on the magnetic pickups, there are a lot has a lot less highs compared to the piezo pickup on the magnetic there's less highs so this tone knob i brought it up to kind of bring in those higher frequencies uh the bass uh, bass treble keep that the same um the level of the overdrive same uh i have also the the blend is same at one o'clock um the drive i you have to kind of jack it up a bit because Again, this is a very uh, low output pickup, so to get uh, a nice kind of like, you know, compressed overdrive, like, you gotta kind of bring it up a bit. So this is how um, using a magnetic sound hole pickup sounds like through this Smolder Acoustic Overdrive. pretty smooth sounding but you know if you just use this acoustic pickup by itself you really get almost no sounds look I'll just turn the blend knob all the way just to the, the dry magnetic pickup signal and it's not loud it's almost non-existent so I, that's what I have to work with but if I turn it back up to one o'clock I get you know pretty nice sounding rhythmic kind of thing you know but I, I can still do some of those uh riff solo kind of stuff um with you know this setup so there you go that's another you know great way you can use this pedal even with a not so you know loud sounding pickup